What's up guys, Nax Tech here. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 apps of the week. So let's jump right into this. Uh, if you're an absolute camera noob like I am and don't know anything about the settings and really want to learn, there's this app called Right Click. Now before I start, I am going to uh, put all these app links in the description so if you like an app, go ahead and download it. Now let's just zoom in here. This app is basically a tutorial of what the different functions in a camera can do. So if you want to get into photography and stuff, this is probably a really good app. If we go to this, all these different camera settings that you'd normally see on cameras and you're like, what the hell is all this crap, right? Well, if you click this, it actually shows you. So when you see the different apertures, the different F slash numbers, and you're like, what the hell does that mean? Well, now you can see what it means by moving this. So you can see here how the camera goes out of focus at the back at the 1.8, 3.5 and it gets more and more in focus until 11, it's all in focus. So that's what the, the aperture can change when you're changing it on your camera. The ISO, it, again, it does the same sort of thing. You can drag this bar and see what the different ISO levels can do. Um, you know, I don't know if you can click into this, but shutter speed. Hey, another thing. It's really good if you want to learn about stuff. So this slow shutter speed, you can see it takes in a lot more light and it blurs here. Whereas if you're here, it hardly blurs at all. Um, if I go back out and go into read mode, you can read about it. You can read about the white balance. You can read about the shutter speed. Really, really good app if you want to learn stuff, you know. Um, what's this last bit here? Photography style. So if you want to learn how to do HDR photos, I guess you click it. And it tells you what settings you should use, what you should use, how you should do it. Really, really useful app if you want to learn more about photography. I really like the view mode because, you know, it's hands-on. It actually tells you what the different things do. Like, I had no idea Aperture did that stuff. and. I knew the shutter speed was like that, but you know, it's really helpful if you want to learn. So that's my first app of the week. Next up is Circle Alarm. It's pretty simple. Just click into it there. Add alarm. It's just a really simple app. You turn the alarm on. If you click into it, you get this nice little effect. If you just want a simple alarm manager, you can turn them on and off by clicking this button here. Change the time, change the minutes. It's just really, really simple. You know, you can change all the days here that you want it to go off. And you can set more than one. You've got the settings here. You've got the ringtone, volume, snooze time, vibrator. Flip over to snooze, informative voice. A voice tells you the time of the next ring when you're snooze an alarm. Okay, so it's got a lot of functions. Just a really simple app. I haven't actually used this, but it looked cool. So, yeah, if you like it, get it. Another free app. Next up we've got Pictorio. You do have to sign up for this. It's quite weird and interesting. Basically it take it's like a video, half a video and half a picture and combines the two. I'll show you an example. This is what someone else has done. If you can see that there, it's a still photo, but the bucket and the string, the rope string is moving in that picture. So quite cool and you can see who's put it up and stuff and let's have a look at this person this looks quite strange <laughs> yeah so I don't know how easy it is to see on the camera but she's got the liquid bit moving and everything else still like a picture so you know that's actually quite cool I mean let's have a look what happens when you go and take one yourself alright so you get the camera, I don't know what I'm going to to take a picture of here and it will start to record for example if I put my fingers in front of it and move it now you kind of do that to the bit that you want the want the movement to come from I and mean, this is an awful awful example but you, you'll get the point if we press next you can share it with loads of different stuff and that's how it comes out. I mean, I told you that one was absolutely awful. Um, 
if we go back again and look at some of these other ones, they are quite cool. Let's check this one out. So it, it looks quite freaky because everything's completely still and it's just her kind of foot moving. You can do some really cool stuff with it, I reckon. So, again, if you like it, try it out. Let's, let's, let's try one more. What's this girl doing? So it looks really freaky, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> you can see there. Okay, guys, yeah, that's Pictorio. If you like it, get it in the link. Next up, we've got Eyewitness Guardian. This just pulls up basically. Don't show again. Pulls up pictures from newspapers on like the best stuff, best pictures they've taken, and puts them on here so you can just scroll through them. You could probably find some kind of cool pictures. It's kind of cool. You can just swipe through them. You get a little information about what it is. That's quite a cool picture there. Not really that much to this app, to be honest with you. That is kind of it. You, you can just swipe through and probably find some cool pictures. It updates daily, uses the newspapers and stuff to pull it in. So, yeah. Last up in my top five apps of the week is TomTom Tom Navigation. This is a paid app in the Google Play Store. It hasn't got a lot of support at the moment. In fact, it doesn't really support any HD screens. I was quite lucky that my Nexus S was supported. Hopefully they'll change that soon. If you're a fan of TomTom, Tom, it works great. If you've got Google Maps and you're thinking, do I need to spend 40 to 50 quid on this? No, I would say you don't. But it's, it's completely offline, the maps download when you buy the app and you get some of these options. You, everything with TomTom Tom you have to buy. So if we look at the shop, you can see here you have to buy the TomTom Tom HD traffic for a year, it's £27. For the speed cameras for a year, it's 17 So you can see you can spend a lot of money with this app and it's not always worth it. But its core navigation system is very, very good. I mean, let's, um, let's do a kind of fake one because I'm not going to go outside and do it all now. Points of interest here, local search recent, favourite address. I'm going to hit address. Actually, I'm not. That's a lie. Back up. Back up again. We're going to plan it because if we plan it, we might be able to get a demo of the route and I can show you the navigation. I'm just going to do a fake route here. Fastest route gives you loads of options. Tell there. Charge. Nice voice. Nice and clear, nice and loud. Calculates the route. Again, this is going to take up space on your phone because the map is on here. This is just the Europe map, which cost about 50 quid and it's 2 point something, 2.3 gig. If we go to route details, we can show destination, show map of route, route demo will hit. It seems, I mean, this is a single core device and it's pretty quick, it works, right? So off we go, we're leaving. What have we got here then? We've got the current speed your maximum speed of the road, which is actually really useful in case you're speeding. Um, the time that you're going to arrive there, how long in hours it's going to take to get there, and how many miles it is. You've got the next maneuver here as well, and how long it is to that. Settings here, you've got the brightness. The brightness, you've got the, you've got the volume, sorry. I actually just messed that up. Go back, go back out. Go back out! No! God damn it! Right, we're back here. Right, so we've got the volume, and then we've got the aerial view, we've got no voice, and we've got a nighttime mode. You know, it's TomTom. -tom. It's, it's good. You know, they're, they're good at what they do. They're good at navigation. It's good that it's finally on Android. I don't think a lot of people will use it. I've been using Google Maps for ages and had absolutely no problems with Google Maps. It's worked every time I've won it. I've used it for every navigation. I thought I'd get TomTom just to see what it's like. And I do like some of the features of TomTom, but it's not going to push me away from Google Maps. It just isn't. Um, you've got change route here. You've got this live button here. Live services are not currently available because I haven't bought them most likely. Um, yeah, so that's TomTom. Tom. 
if you like TomTom and you have like a TomTom navigator by itself and you just want it on your phone now, by all means buy it. But if you've got Google Maps and you're thinking about, oh, do I need TomTom? No, probably not. Um, so yeah, that's TomTom. And that wraps up my best apps of the week. I hope you guys liked it. As always, if you like my videos, please rate, comment and subscribe. If there's anything you want to see, please tell me and I'll do a video on it. I'll see you guys later.